because they are popular, they are applicable to the South African market, um, they're very, very diverse, the pricing is good, the package is absolutely fantastic, the performance of the product is great, and being an OEM supplier, obviously the reliability is there. Um, it's a top contender with all of the other OEM manufacturers in terms of the racing series type turbochargers, they compete on price, they compete on overall performance, reliability, boost response, etc, etc. So what I want to do today is start off with the S200 SXE, 650 horse capable turbo, journal bearing, um, beautiful piece, let's open it up and I'll go from there. This specific turbo comes with a range of turbine housing AR options. Um, the one I have here is the 88 and a uh, single entry T4 flange inlet, V-band outlet. Okay. Here's the super cool. So the obvious, uh, what you can obviously see here is Bull Warner supply these as super cores and housing separately so that you have the choice or the option of what housing you'd like to couple up to your super core. The specific one is the S300 SXE. Um, the specific spec is the 825 horsepower capable turbo um, with the 76 millimeter turbine and uh, Beautiful bullet compressor. This is a seven blade wheel bullet machine. The entire intake tract is machined. Speed sense support. You see there's no actual cap inside that speed sense support. It's because the speed sense support is drilled but not all the way through. If you decide to use it, you need to just drill those last few millimeters into the actual comp housing, deburr, put the speed sensor in and off you go. So, beautiful castings, um, journal bearing, Inconel head is not a titanium aluminide head that you'll find in your EFR range. Uh, proven technology, you'll find these in the S300 uh, series using some uh, industrial applications. Journal bearing without water cooled ports. Um, bearing housing is cast as one piece with the back plate. And then obviously turbine housing to suit. So this is essentially the package that you get. This is 825 horsepower capable. And uh, it's an option from Borg Water. It's one of the options. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the S200 SXE, which is a 650 horse capable turbo, and uh, we're going to do some comparisons. Obviously, the turbo is smaller, it's a smaller frame. So the first is the 300 that we've just spoken about, this one is the 200, so it's a smaller family size. Obviously makes less power, the rotating assembly is also a different size as well. There is your super core, once again, uh, six, seven blade bullet wheel, fully machined intake tract, speed sense support, bearing housing and back plate are cast as one piece, no water cooling, journal bearing. This has got the titanium aluminum turbine wheel, that is a 650 horse capable turbo. So there are your two options from Borg. Uh, very popular options from Borg Warner, um, specifically for our market. I'm going to take this housing off and just keep it aside. And you get two versions of the 300. This is the 825 horsepower, you get the 1100 horsepower as well with the 80 mil turbine wheel. Uh, 650 was capable. So if you are a customer that have been using a T3, T4, or a copy of a GT35 Chinese knockoff, and you want to use something that's actually a genuine. A reliable proven product with burst containment housings etc and you want to step up your game uh, not only in boost response but also overall power linear response etc the s200 sxe is a great option and then if you want to do anything bigger you can go for the 825 s300 or the 1100 horsepower s300 let's move on to the efr this specific efr unit is a 7163 uh, it's got an 85 ar waste gated turbine housing and uh, it's going to how this little guy is packaged. So these turbos are 
very, very uh, sought after. They've got beautiful stainless turbine housings. They're fully featured with a lot of components, which we'll go through in a second. Let's get this box off the table. Okay, so. EFR 7163. Right, now the numbers denote the size of the rotating assembly of both 71mm X juicer on the compressor wheel and 63mm on the turbine side. This specific unit has got a T25 flange inlet, V band out, internally gated, which includes your actuator, it also includes a stainless steel turbine housing. It includes a V-band couple from the bearing housing slash back plate onto the compressor stage. It is dual ball bearing, water cooled. Nice thing about the water cooling system on here is you've got an inlet and outlet on both sides of the turbocharger, allowing you a lot of flexibility in terms of your piping. Um, on your compressor housing, you have an internal diverter valve which is not electronic, it's a normal pneumatic diverter valve which is built into the comp housing. You've got a speed sense support, once again you'll need to drill in the last few millimeters if you choose to use it. Billet compressor wheel and an N75 valve for the boost control um, should you use it with an OEM ECU or whether or not you're going to be using an aftermarket ECU. So EFR 7163, 550 horse capable, S200 SXE 650 horse capable, the specific S300 SX is A25 horse capable, and you obviously get its bigger brother, 1100 horse capable. These turbochargers are available directly from us. Uh, we are the official, officially imported tier one board Warner distributors for South Africa, and uh, obviously the pricing, the backup, the knowledge, all the technical expertise, and a full range of stock is on hand. So contact us, you'll see all of our contact details at the bottom of the video, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys again in the next video.